Welcome back everybody to the TLS round of eight. We are going into game three between DeWalt and Zeke and what has happened to Elegant? <laughs> What's oh man, Elegant, you started... Uh, for a second I thought you were like ascending to heaven or something. Your face suddenly lit up like you were really? glowing and the whole... The whole th and everything became blurry like you were fading out into the distance. Wow. Oh, man, Elegant has just transcended into a different being, different yeah. level of existence. Wow, I wish I'd have seen that. I'm gonna have to check out the vaults because that sounds that sounds absolutely superb. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I feel good. Um, well, I don't actually feel good because I'm a little bit worried that our last process hope is about to crash out of the tournament. I'm a little bit scared. See, how come you get to become an angel when you have no faith? I <laughs> I know Dewalt's gonna win. I know. I feel it in my bones. In it's my like being. What, what was that dreadful film um, with Keanu Reeves in it? But because he knew God existed. Constantine. Um, yeah. I yeah, love that movie. What do you mean terrible film? Constantine was a great movie. <laughs> I used to like How long is it since you watched it? Uh, several years. Yeah, I, I used to really like it. And then I went back to it and my God, it's long. What? It's really, it? really long. Yeah, no. it's so um, So don't watch it again. But anyway, it's, it's like that where because you know that the world is going to win, you therefore can't have faith and therefore can't ascend to heaven. Whereas because I I have to exist on faith alone, then, you know. Oh, that that is crazy. I know it doesn't seem fair, but what are you gonna do? That's really not fair. Yeah. Well, I know, ah, but. Whatever. Do yeah. fighting! Do all fighting! <laughs> hey, the next map is going to be Neo Ground Zero. Yes, it is. Um, which, uh, yeah, pretty standard map once again. The natural opening is fairly wide, so you gotta be a little bit careful about Ling Bust and things like that. And since Ziki just went for an eye pull opening, uh, you have to be even more careful, I think. Yeah. I think Zeke is not above it at this point, not above finishing the series um, with a big, big blowout such as that. Um, but hopefully it will not be an end to the series. I, I think DeWalt is going to be wise to it. I think DeWalt is he's not going to roll over and die, especially after last game. I think he's really going to want to assert some dominance and really going to want to come back into this. And hopefully he can do, because if nothing else, I want to see some exciting games out of these guys here. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling just about ready to see how this plays out. I'm absolutely on the edge of my seat for this one. All right, let's go into the game. And here we go, at the bottom right as the purple Zerg, we have Sass Siki. At the bottom left as the red Protoss, we have DeWalt. Yep, here we are in what could be the ending game for our Protoss hope, but hopefully not. What is DeWalt going to pull out the bag? What is Siki going to pull out the bag? For anyone who's worried about the way I seem so incredibly biased, I, I feel quite biased right now because I... I, I just want a fight out of this. I want the world to prove um, that, that, that there is hope, you know, against this this Zerg powerhouse. Um, so, and also, you know, what well, Seeky doesn't need my help right here. The world needs people rooting for him. Seeky, he's, you know, he, he's way up there anyway. Um, so, yeah, don't don't be worried. It's not uh, gonna... Don't build that pylon so far forward. You can't. Nah, well, actually, no, it's okay. What? Nah, that's but there's okay. not buildable ground. Well, no, he can build the forge on top and the gateway on top of that. So he's gonna have like oh. a two-gap wall. I'm Why pretty sure that's what he's point. gonna do. Yeah, uh, I think so. On the other hand, he could just build two gateways, because that's what G5 did on this map against Zeke, and it almost <laughs> worked. It very but, almost uh, did. Uh oh, oh is this such a close game. Oh man, why is he not pulling again? Zeke! I mean Zeke. You know what? You know, screw this guy. I'm gonna call him Zeke now. Because he's not he's <laughs> doing he's nine pulled twice here. That's not fair. Yeah. Zeke, Mr. Zeke. Uh you're a bad person. Okay. Will it be speed as well? I'm not quite sure. Um, no, it looks like it won't in fact be speed. Um, he's just going to go for the gastric again. This seems to be really just the way he likes to do it. Um, oh no, it's going to be a blind 11 next. What? Oh, it's, oh man, he's doing blind 11 next, forge, and then cannon, which is safe against blind, everything oh, okay. except the nine pool. Oh wait, what? Why did he build another probe? No, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to go 11 next, or is he just blind no, forging? He's oh. Closing. oh, okay, okay, thank good, thank goodness. And by thank just, goodness, I mean that's still going to be very, very close timing. That's why he's oh, making it so late, though, because Jesus. that doesn't really have any effect on his economy at all. Because he doesn't have to stop pro production if he wants to make the earlier forge. 
Yeah, uh, I, I guess maybe he gets a couple extra minerals so he can make the Nexus a little bit earlier. Mm. But that's going to be very dangerous. If he makes the Nexus, he won't have enough money to make a cannon. He mustn't make the Nexus. He must not make the make Nexus, but he's, he's saved up it, 400 minerals. He's going to make it. Specifically for that, but he's going to be able to scout. Oh, he's going to wait. Don't go back. No, 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 no. Don't no, 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 go no, 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 back. No. no. Oh, he's no. built a cannon anyway, though. Oh, yes, he's built two cannons, and the Zerg is going to kill the probe. Oh, okay, wow. Oh. Man, this could have been a very bad um, if you went the Nexus. Oh, man. Thank that would God. have not been very bad. That would have been fatal. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be like uh, the ISL quarterfinals. I think Schnitzel died like that, where it was like game four and he had to win. I think it was against Ziki, too. And he had to oh. win. And he went uh, 11 next oh. against a nine pool and just instantly died. It was so bad. It's still going to be very, very close times, but it looks like he's oh, just going to be okay. Oh my goodness, you guys, we just came so close. I don't know Olympics. why he didn't make the Nexus, actually, to be honest, when he had 400 minerals. I guess he was being super safe and waiting for the probe to go in, but then he didn't even wait for the probe to go in. But he still didn't make the Nexus until he had, like, like by the time he saw the Zerpings, he had just over 500 minerals, I'm pretty sure. So he must have had some kind of sense that something yeah. was going on. I guess because when he got there, if it was a 12 hatch, the hatchery should have been down already. So yeah. he knew it was a pool first, even without seeing the pool, or something like that. Yeah, he must have done. Although he did, did he know that CQ was there? Did uh, he see well, the Overlord on the way? I, I don't think so, but he ran into the drone pretty early on. Yeah. And so, and then he went back to chase it. And so even though he didn't see the pool though, just from how late the drone was, he knew it was a pool first, and I guess he was just going to be safe. Yeah, well fortunately, because otherwise, yeah, he was absolutely, he was done. Uh, if he hadn't thrown down those cannons there, so... Thank God um, that we have managed to make it four minutes uh -oh, into the Hydra. game. Sorry? Hydroden. Hydroden. Hydroden alert. Alert. Panic. 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 I panic mean, mode. the usual phrases don't panic, but everybody, please feel absolutely free to panic at this stage. I mean, I'm going to, so you may as well join oh, me. Oh, he's um, not letting the probe in. Oh, Ziggy. Ziggy, yeah. why would you do this? Why would you do this to us? And DeWald, though, looks like he's going to go for a very, very fast Zealot plus one kind of build, which could actually work well as long as he gets some kind of inkling and makes just a couple of extra photon cannons against these Hydras, because his, his current photon cannon position good against Rembys, not so great against Hydras, and that pylon is looking way out on a limb as well. But this kind of thing can actually work, because he's going to have very, very quick plus one speeds out, so if he gets uh, a nice number of gateways, a nice number of gateways as well, and this can actually happen for him. Yeah, you're absolutely right here. Of course, the Stargate doesn't you know, making Corsairs doesn't really help against the Hydras, although I mean, it does give you, it does let you scout and give you an indication of whether the Zerg is committed and going all in with the Hydras or transitioning off, because when you go for three hatch Hydra like this, you're not necessarily doing a, an all in bust. You can just put on early pressure and then follow it up with, you know, more hatches and more tech, uh, which yeah. is actually something that we saw a lot of uh, Zergs do in Pro League kind of towards the end uh, of the Pro, yeah, yeah. Pro League. This actually became a lot more <clears throat> popular than going straight for the lair. Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see which one he does go for. And it looks like the probe does see the Hydras now. He sees the Hydras. He's gotta make more cannons right now. Why yeah, is he, he not making cannons? Has to. There is no what is he doing? Alright, there we like go. He is gonna go out and make more cannons just as quickly as he possibly can. Uh, but not quite as quickly as he possibly can because he's wasting a little bit of time moseying around with that probe. Uh, and it's been a little bit slower than maybe I would like. He's gonna have to hold off, um, quite... Um, for quite a long time waiting for those extra cannons to come in. There are a fair few Hydras coming towards him. He has got two Zealots uh, and Dragoon as well. He needs that Forge to finish its upgrade, really, in order for this to be properly effective as a counter, um, because his plus one Zealots, of course, uh, are imme immeasurably better against Hydras. And it looks like Ziggy's going to try and go in for the bus, but that's not a good idea for him at all, and DeWalt is able to easily hold that off. Yeah, the good thing for him is that uh, the Hydras don't have range yet, so they're actually not that big of a threat at the moment, and they can't just like hold position and pick up the buildings easily. Like they, they can kind of range the gateway right now, but obviously, as you said, the forge is far more important at the moment, and I think uh, yeah. Siki knows that as well, but he just can't really range it uh, because of the cannon there. And I think uh, DeWalt should be okay here. And we do see Ziki, uh, sorry, Ziki making more drones. So as I said, he's going to transition mm -hmm. off of this. He's not going all in, just going to put pressure with these uh, six Hydros, because it, look like, it looks like. And the crucial thing now for DeWalt is not to overreact and build too many cannons. Because if he builds yep. too many cannons, uh, it's just going to be bad for him anyway, because the Zerg's not committed to the Hydro bus, so he's going to oh. hurt his own economy uh, and oh. his structure by making cannons. Oh, yeah, but it looks like man. the Forge might actually go down. There is no way DeWalt's going to be able to save that. The Forge 
is going to go down. He doesn't even try and delay it with his units, which I think maybe is a little bit of a mistake. He possibly could have delayed it just in time. If he'd have lost those units, frankly, no big deal if you get plus one weapons. That plus one weapon is going to take a long, long time to come into play right now, and that's going to be a painful wait. Meanwhile, hedging his bets a little bit, starting to tech up pretty heavily. He's gone for a Robo and a Stargate simultaneously. Uh, an interesting choice by DeWalt. Yeah, and he's getting Storm as well. Uh, maybe he's slightly scared of getting Lurker contained, so he's going for the slightly earlier Robo than perhaps is normal. But, but um, because with all this tech, I think he needs to commit pretty much now um, to a timing attack. Because... Yeah, I, I'm because, not really yeah. sure. I mean, the thing is, losing that plus one, actually, I'm, I'm not sure if it was uh, as big as a deal as, as maybe it would have been, because he, I mean, he's not actually made that many Zealots anyway, so maybe he was just like, well... You know, since Yiki's open with Hydras, I'm not really going to get the plus one attack off, so I don't actually really care about it anymore, which is why he didn't bother to save it. Yeah. Um, and he is restarting it now, but now it's just kind of a normal upgrade timing, I think. Uh, and he's instead gotten the plus one for his Corsair, so kind of going back into the Corsair style play. One random zealot has somehow snuck out on the map and is going to like try and harass these drones, but I'm not really going to get too far, I don't think. Uh, going to get one? No, good yeah, control nope. there from Z uh, Ziki. Ziki. Yeah, displaying some nice control there. Good micro. Um, and... <sighs> Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of weigh up where this is going to go for these guys because Ziki has, has pretty much got away with this at this point. I mean, he's going to be able to transition fairly nicely. He's cost DeWalt a fair amount of money uh, and a fair amount of timing as well. We do have a DT and a shuttle now coming out, which is nice for DeWalt. So hopefully he's going to be able to do something decent with that. He has Corsairs flying around. He has um, the plus. Does he have the plus one air weapons coming in? No, he doesn't. Um, oh, he's... man. There's no Overlord speed and he's not researching it. And all the Overlords, no are overlords in the natural. That DT, in the, uh, oh, DT drop in the main could be absolutely crazy. Oh man, this could this be could, so good. This could be a huge deal. That's two DTs as well. So before um, before Siki Eason even knows it, all his drones can be gone. And that's a massive deal. He can even lose the Hydra stem before Lurker aspect happens as well, which is very, very important because he needs that Lurker aspect so he can mount a, uh, a sufficient contain uh, and do what he wants to do um, over the rest of the map while he wants to do it. Um, but those DTs are now going to go in. I hope they don't land any hits on any of those buildings. I hope they don't give, them, give, give themselves away too soon. And they start to go to work on the drones. Most of these drones are going to go down. They just take care of them so fast. Almost all the drones are gone already. Those DTs doing so much damage in the main. Every single drone goes down. Will he go for the Hydra Stand now? It looks like he will go for the Hydra Stand now. No aspect might not even finish. This is a great, great windfall right now for Dwalt. And Siki is going to be in a lot of trouble after this. Man, 12 kills between those two DTs, and you're absolutely right, they are going to get to the damn. Looks like Lurker Aspect is cancelled. They might even force a cancel on the Spire. The Hydra's coming back, but look how slow the Overlords are. There's no way they're going to get back in time. He's morphing three Overlords from the exit of that main and getting speed, but he's always oh, going to kill. He doesn't even cancel the Spire. He does oh. not cancel the Spire. That's 200 more gas that's down the drain here. All the units pulled back from the natural. Looks like Dewalt now sending a shuttle out to go for a Storm Drop on the third base, and there's nothing there to spot. There's nothing in the path. No Overlords to spot for him. A few random Hydras going down to make sure there's no mineral only here for Dewalt but this has been absolutely amazing. It looks like DeWalt even hidden a DT here at the bottom left to make sure that he can go back in for another harass. And where, wait, where did the shuttle go? Okay, there it is. Oh man, this could be good. Yeah, this about. could be really good. Yeah, this could actually work very, very nicely. Too high Templar. Will it get scouted? I keep on thinking that that damn Kakaru is a is a, a Zerg unit, but it's not, of course. And he could be able to get the Storm Drop off on Siki's third base. Right? How, how quickly will Siki react to this? The high Templar goes down. Will he be able to get the Storm Drop? One Storm goes down. Storm! Two Storm goes down. Oh, he gets the Storm. One High Templar survives, and that's going to live to fight another day, of course, with no Scourge. There's literally no way um, Seeker's going to be able to get over there and take out that shuttle. Um, not the most effective possible Storm Drop, but nonetheless, a big deal right now, um, given that Seeker's just having to pump drones already. And it looks like DeWalt, yes, is gearing up for a big timing attack. It cannot be anything else at this point. Yeah, and I think this is going to work wonderfully. I mean, this is exactly how he beat True Touch in the round of 16 in that epic game. I mean, I think that was an upset as well. True Touch, an extremely strong Polish Zerg. And, uh, and Dewalt did the same thing. DT drop in the main, Storm drop by the third, and followed up with some great pressure. And just look at how few things in general Zeke has. I mean, you know, no, you know, just barely adding the second sunken. Almost no Hydras here that I can see. Just a few random groups on the map here. I mean, his DTs in the main did, unfortunately for him, get uh, taken down. But look at this. Lurker is not even halfway done here. And the army is going to start moving out here, killing some of the cannons so they can get out. And looks like the first observer is out as well. So that's the timing. Here we go. Very, very scary army here with a lot of gateways to reinforce. Looks like uh, eight gateways going up to nine gateways now. The over Overlord does see it coming out, but I'm not sure what uh, Seeky can actually do about this. He might have to use these Hydras to maybe try and get some good High Templar snipes in the back or something like that, but even then, uh -huh. there's just a ridiculous number of units coming out. 
Yeah, this is so much stuff right now from the wall. His army is going to just snowball like crazy. 129 supply versus 67. Where is he for going? Siki. He's going to make sure he secures his third base so he can get that as soon as he wants to. Um, but I think he needs to commit to the timing attack now. He has the timing. He needs to go for it. He has hit the timing. Don't don't think about your third right yet. Just Seriously, go for this. Make just the attack kill happen. him. It Finish like him. Yeah, listen to Sail through time and space. Pay attention to Sail. Finish he knows what him. This is, this is, why is he sitting in the middle of the map? He needs to go now. Siki has seen this and he's going to start preparing. I know Siki's still got a long way this... to go before he's ready for this, but DeWalt needs to go. 141 supply versus 77. The gap is starting to close just a little bit, but he still has an overwhelming advantage. The Hydralists are trying to get into position, but I don't think there's going to be enough of them. If there are good storms, DeWalt's going to be able to easily take this engagement. He needs to find a best position than that, though. There are only two control groups of Hydralists holding out between Siki and the thing. One storm lands in a slightly wrong why position. Why is he storm storming lands. now? He needs a storm when the engagement happens. Alright, there's a much better Stormy Aziki trying to move out of the way. It's not that good. Hydra's coming in from the back though. We need another good Storm. Oh, that one was a fantastic Storm here. And it uh, looks like one Storm on the back, Hydra's going to force them back oh. as well. Oh, fantastic Storm there. Uh, so it looks like this army is going to push through here. I was a little bit worried that this might end up like game one, but no. GG from Ziki and DeWalt. This is the start of the comeback. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm talking about. Come on, Protoss. GG. DeWalt manages to take game three of Ziki to bring it back to 2 1 scoreline. And this is where it starts to get exciting. DeWalt is right back in it. Reverse 3 2, baby. Reverse 3 2. Sales also, so I'm horrendously biased and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's yeah. like blatant uh, bias here on the, on the cast. We're all Protoss here. TLS, the entire TLS staff is Protoss. So that's amazing, actually. Do? Yeah. I mean, it's not that we don't like Ziki, but. You know, come on. Yeah. Even even hey, everybody wants to be excited. You guys should be thankful that we didn't put central planes in the map pool, okay? All right. <laughs> Give us some credit. Yeah. yeah, we're not we're not that imbalanced. Uh, we're a lot of talk. We, we wouldn't actually. Oh, uh, Pogside says he's Terran. Well, I guess he's kicked off then. You're fired. Yeah, no, just yeah we just can't have that kind of attitude. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, one to two. We have a fourth game at least. We and, do. Uh, and it's in a set which Ziki's playing in, no less. So, um, hey. yeah, it just got real. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break and then come back with that game. Let's go for it.